All right, so I am in north, northeastern Pennsylvania this morning, invading the northeast, because I'm from more southeastern Pennsylvania. A um, number of places I plan on going today, but the first one is a place I've been looking forward to for quite some time, the, P the Penobscot Mountain Tunnel. I guess I'm saying that right. I parked down here. I'm just south of Wilkesbury, between Wilkesbury and Hazleton. It was a Sorry, there's a deer. Anyway, we'll, we'll see it on camera though. Oh, there's another one actually. I don't know if I got that on camera or not. Oh, there's another one. I hope I got that one on camera. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, the, the tunnel where we are, just south of Wilkesbury and north of Hazleton. Um, and I parked in a little town called New Angola. I'll put the name down below because I'm probably not saying it right, but that's the way it is with these. We're in a town of new areas. And what we're walking on right now is an old railroad line. Actually, I think this was, was this an electric railroad or a trolley or something? I forget how it goes, but there's a tunnel up here. Um, I'm hoping it's still there, but uh, we'll see. So like I said, I'm hoping this tunnel is still here and possibly accessible. I've read that it was gated back in uh, 2014. This was on state game lands up here. I don't know if this right here is state game lands, but up further is. Um, most recent pictures I've seen of it were from back in like 2009, 2010, so I don't know. Even back then parts were collapsing, so I'm not sure what we're going to find up here. Actually, you probably have a better... You know more than I do at this moment, because if you probably have a picture of the tunnel in the thumbnail picture, so you you already know what I'm going to find up here before I do right now. So, and I'll talk more about the history of this tunnel as I get up further up here. And even if it is gated, those gates have a tendency to not stay. Uh, gated, if you know what I mean. They get ripped down, people make holes in them, so we'll see. Even if we can get in, I don't know, I forgot my, my boots, my, my wellies, well, my wellingtons. I always forget something on these trips, but we'll see, I'll at least check it out. Maybe I'll come back sometime with some other people. I have some people in mind, too, if it is, if it is accessible. You probably know who you are already. Yes, I just saw something neat. There was a what's called a fissure, just ran across the trail here. Of course, I was I was down there quite a ways, and I didn't get my I didn't get my camera up in time to get any video or pictures of it because it was moving pretty fast. If you don't know what a fissure is, just imagine a, a giant weasel. Well, not giant, but a big three foot long weasel, maybe. Yeah, right around right here, he ran across. They. Oh, they were, I guess you could call, they were exterminated from Pennsylvania at one time, or extinct in Pennsylvania. There's another word for that, ex extirpated or whatever. Um, of course, they, they were hunted and, and trapped, mostly, out of existence here in Pennsylvania at one time. Well, for the most part, maybe, maybe in a few sections there were a couple left, but they reintroduced them a number of years ago, and they've done quite well. And this is the second one I've seen. I saw one down near her home in Blue Marsh Lake at one time. I didn't know what it was at first. I mean, I'm familiar with what fishes are, but I, didn't, I wasn't expecting to see one um, down that way. And I just saw another one. I'd love to get some pictures of it, because I do have several pictures of that one I saw years ago, but just horrible, blurry pictures. But, oh well. So maybe we'll see some other cool stuff out here, some other cool wildlife. Like a bear, maybe, huh? <laughs> we haven't got to the tunnel yet. It's about a two-mile walk up to the tunnel, so... We're getting there. You hear this road kind of turn. Originally, the road was following, like this is the old railroad bed here. The railroad bed actually continues on that way, and this road turns that way. So, anyway, I think I'm going to follow the railroad bed. I'm sure this. I'm sure this road just parallels the bed, but anyway, a little more quieter walking on this stuff than on the gravel. 
Yeah, this is why the road curves around. It meets up with the railroad bed again. Railroad bed again. There's an old uh, culvert here. I guess they were trying to avoid. Up oh, spider webs. There are some other ruins here on the way up. I figured there would be. But that's just kind of a concrete foundation down there. I don't need I, I don't know that I need to go down there and look at it anymore. Yeah, maybe we will. Yeah, down here it is. Looks like it's just a little building down here. But, on the way down, I did see something else down here, and there's a little trail going off down here, so... See this little trail here? There's another old foundation over here. This is an older one. Some neat old stonework. And it looks like maybe someone else is trying to get to the tunnel today. I don't know if you can see him down there. I'm trying to zoom in on him. Right there he is. Mr. Toad. Blends in pretty well. Yeah, this trail keeps on going. It's tempting to keep following it, but... I'm going to get distracted from my main goal up there. Uh, that's what happens when you come to new areas. Anyway, maybe I'll be back some other day explore some of these other trails. But I want to, I'm eager to see what the, the tunnel looks like up here, though. Here's more of that old foundation we just saw earlier. So up there is the mountain that the tunnel goes through, so we shouldn't be too far from it. And I have a feeling that it's right up in here. Uh-oh, well I definitely see something up here. I'm sure it looks too good though. I think that is it right there. But unfortunately, that doesn't look like a gate. That looks like an intentional collapse or like a backfill. It's the whole thing. Oh dear. Because they have some, there's some pipes coming out here bringing the water out of the tunnel. Uh, why do they have to do this? Anyway, but we're going to make our way to the top because maybe, we'll see, maybe someone dug the way down into it. We'll see. All right, this is what I'm afraid of happening. This is what the Game Commission does. They destroy history. Anyway, let's see if there's any signs of an opening up top. Yeah, this was all put here. You can see even the netting to keep it from eroding away. This is all dumped here. Try and block this tunnel. Well, I just came from down there, hiked up to what I thought was a complete backfill, but it's not a complete loss. Because down here is the tunnel. There's a there's a gate on there. So to be honest with you, I'm not sure what the heck this well why they put this backfill here to block the gate, I mean to block the tunnel when there's a gate on it, so I'm not entirely sure if it was just meant to stop people from backing up to the gate and pulling the gate off, because that happens a lot on game lands, but it cost them a pretty penny to put all this backfill here like this, so I don't know, I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, I'll stop complaining, but I'm going to take a little break and then in a moment we'll head down to where the gate is. See what we can see from out here. So that's cool. I was worried when I saw this backfill. I thought, you know, 
hike all the way up here and you can't see anything, but come up to the top and you can. You can, we, sh we will get a look on the inside. Cool. So here's a closer look. I just kind of scrambled down from back up there. This rock is, it looks really crumbly. So, and they, I know they did have troubles with this tunnel with collapses in there. Someone said like even just a quarter of the way in it's collapsed. But uh, yeah, at one point in time trains would have come barreling through this tunnel. Actually I guess I don't know, I guess it, was it a trolley I guess? Because I mentioned this having the electric third rail. So I don't know if they, I, I, I'm not an expert on that but. Anyway this was, well sometimes this is referred to as the cannonball tunnel I've seen. So, but this was a line between Wilkesbury and Hazleton. The tunnel was built in 1903 and they actually stopped using it in 1933, just 30 years later. So it's been abandoned for, wow, you know, 70, almost 90 years, 80 some years. So, yeah, in a moment here, I'm going to rig some lights on my camera and we'll at least take a look down there, see what we can see on the inside at all in my flashlight. Because we're going to, I don't, that, look, that gate looks pretty secure. And just sitting here thinking, I think that's why they did put this huge backfill here, because there's been places on game lands where they have gated things and people just back up with a truck and a chain and just rip the gate off <laughs> anyway. So, but whatever. All right, I'm going to get my camera set up and then we'll make our way down there and hope this whole opening doesn't collapse on us. All right, so we're down here in the entrance area. So it looks like looking back. Man, this entrance looks. Yeah, this entranceway looks sketchy. I've been in a lot of railroad tunnels. A lot of them are lined at the beginning, lined with concrete or brick, but this one's not. Let's take a look in here. Turn some lights on. I don't know how much we'll be able to see in here. Get my other light out here. I'm just taking a look on the inside there. Let's go back. Uh, it would be cool to explore that. I think I'm losing focus there. But man, that would make for a really awesome exploration back in there. I can hear water running back there. It's kind of hard to see on camera. But yeah. Wow. <sighs> but we can't. Alright. I think I'll take a few pictures. You'll see what it looks like with the flash. Alright, so it ended up not being a total bust. Like I said, I was worried for a moment when I was down. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath climbing up here, but I was a little bit worried when I first got here that it was just completely backfilled, but we did get a, a glimpse of it down there. So, um, even if it wasn't gated, I'm not sure how far I would have gone in by myself here. Um, that was a little bit sketchier than other railroad tunnels I've been in, but like I said, beginning the video, I had several people in mind who would come along with me on an adventure like that but not gonna be an adventure like that that gate is that gate's pretty strong I, I test it because trust me sometimes some of those bars are actually loose or cut off and just sitting there because people cut them off and put them back up to make it look like whatever but they're all they're all fastened pretty good on there so anyway still cool cool to see this and learn about the history of it this is the south portal the north portal is destroyed just up on top of the mountain here is Interstate 81, and the uh, south, is it the southbound lane of Interstate 81 just pretty much went right over the, the north portal of this tunnel, at least that's what I've read, so I'm not going to check that out today. Anyway, it's probably the end of this video, you know, unless I see some 
more cool wildlife on the way back or something. So, anyway, thanks for coming along with me on this adventure. And like I said, we did get to see a tunnel, even though we didn't get to go in. But anyway, I'm headed to some other areas up here in northeast Pennsylvania. So, I don't know how much I'll get done today, but it's a it's a good day to be out. All right, thanks. I'll see you around.